Hello and welcome back to KNC Taxidermy. Thank you for joining us. Remember to like and subscribe our YouTube page. What we're going to be doing this video on is European mounts, the skull mounts. I've had lots of people ask me how we do ours. And so um, I'm going to do a video on how the process on how we do ours from skinning the head to boiling it down, pressure washing, the the soaking, and then the whitening. So um, it's a fairly simple process that works well for us. I know different people have different methods, but this is what we do. <clears throat> and if we get great uh, results and it it's we have great turnaround time too so again thank you for joining us here at KNC Taxidermy and I hope this is informative for you and we're going to be doing European or the skull mounts okay guys first thing I'm gonna want to do I have a fresh head here um, and the first thing you're gonna want to do is get this skinned out um, there's really no fancy way to do this. I've got a, a brand new fresh blade on my little knife here. And um, this is an outdoor edge, three inch. Um, and with the interchangeable razor blades on it. And I just put a brand new one on here. And this little protective sheath comes off. And... Uh, I use these. These are real sharp and make light work of these hides. Um, I am, all I'm going to do is, as you can see, all I have is a head. Now, it's part of this neck is still attached, and once we get this all skinned out, I'll show you how, show you how and where to, where that joint is, where we'll want to make sure that all we have is the skull. So, um, I'm going to start skinning. There, like I said, there's no fancy way to do this. Just get all the hair off. And, um, and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, now the next thing we're going to do after we get the skin off of it is I'm going to get the remaining neck off. They've left some of this neck on that I don't want. I want to take it off back here to where it's just the skull. Okay, I don't want all this attached. So what I'm going to do is I am going to come in with a knife 
and I'm you can feel back here where there's a joint where there's meat right here and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start working my knife down see where it starts coming apart okay and I'm going to find that joint you're going to find that joint in there back here in the back and you can work all the way around and even down to the underside usually you have some esophagus still attached where it runs into the tongue all this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take all this out okay <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and separate this the esophagus and the tongue let me see if I can get this to set up here okay I'm gonna come in here and then I just run my knife basically down the jawline releasing those co that connective tissue right here along this jawline I'm running my knife along here to release that connective tissue okay so right now that's what I'm doing I'm working along here releasing releasing and then I'm coming in here in the back and there's gonna be two bones back in here two small bones let me go ahead and get this separated so I can show you at the base of the tongue that you're gonna have to usually once I get to them in these younger smaller deer like this they're usually pretty easy to snap off okay and see then I can start getting my fingers up underneath the tongue and I'm going to be able to see better as to where it's still connected and I can get that see start pulling that all up in one piece and that's going to make it easier too to get that bottom jaw off because you're not going to need the bottom jaw unless you want the bottom jaw but usually your Europeans and see you could just hear that little bone crack I've went ahead and broken that little bone back there and then you're going to go the roof of the mouth is going to connect all the way up back here and you're going to cut through that and you're going to come along the back of the jaw make kind of run your knife back here and in between those two bones kind of separating all you can and then usually you can either oh that one's already broken so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that small that soft tissue in between it sorry I'm trying to wrestle this this one doesn't have as big as a rack so it there I broke it you heard that little bone crack now I can cut that connective tissue in between it and there comes the tongue and the esophagus I can throw that aside and see now that part is removed now I can get back here to the base of the neck easier to work and I'm gonna go ahead and let me get worked around here a little bit and then I'll be able to show you better. Let me work all the way around this joint at the base of the skull and then I'll be able to show you.
okay? And usually these smaller deer like this, you can see, you can see that joint right there at the base of the skull. Okay. And that's what you're going to be, start working around that to start releasing this neck. Okay. Because we don't want to harm. We're going to want to do it so that we don't tear up everything, the bone and everything. And this fella's about ready to pop off. And usually you can just twist it right off once you get, usually, sometimes some of these fibers are pretty. These tendons and whatnot are pretty, but there. Okay, now you can see that that joint, and that's where the brain stem and the brain, that's the base of the skull that you want to make sure if they leave that neck on, that's the socket for that base of the skull. That's where you're going to separate it at, and then all you have left is your head okay and then next all we're gonna do basically is take out the eyes and snap off this bottom jaw and we'll be ready to boil it up Okay, now that we've gotten the big stuff off, the eyes, the skin, the jaw, the tongue, all that, any neck, anything like that that's attached, we've gotten down to the basic, what we need to start to do a skull mount. This is basically what we need. Um, now I'm just going to kind of go and get as much meat and the fat and stuff like that off that I can, which will make it easier in the process after boiling to clean it up. Because after I boil it, then I'm going to power spray it, and that's going to help um, the less stuff I have on there to to have to, that for the the boil to penetrate and stuff like that. If you've got a bunch of meat on there, you're going to have to try to cook off. It's going to make it a little harder. So anyways, I'm going to debulk it, I guess you could say, as much as I can. Um, just could try to clean it up and get as much of that meat off and stuff, especially back here. There's a lot of fat and meat on the back of the skull here where the ears, right above the ears, and behind the eyes, there's a big pocket of fat right here. There's like an opening right here um, that you can dig out a bunch of fat there. And, of course, there's a bunch of fat in the, in the, behind the eyeball itself. Um, I mean, and along down here along the top jaw and where the connective muscles and stuff like that are. 
Um, you don't have to get too crazy if you don't want to. Like I said, especially if you put um, your borax or your OxyClean in with your it pretty in with your pot to boil in your water. It pretty much breaks all that down and makes it easy to, especially on these young deer, um, breaks them down pretty pretty easily and makes them easy to clean up with the power sprayer. So it all depends on how involved you want to get with it. But I still go ahead and take off a lot of that thick stuff so that I can make sure I get the bone good and clean. Um, cause that's what I'm after is the bone. I don't want any staining, uh, left on the bone from oils and, and the meat and the fat tend to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning this up and you can follow along and watch and then we'll, we'll be getting to our next process, which will be boiling the skull. Thank you for watching us here at KNC Taxidermy. Remember to like and subscribe us here on YouTube and join us next time for our latest creation. And we'll see you then.